Hello all viewers, welcome on our video blog, my name is Bieral Kadiusz, today I would like to make a review of this Maxcom MX620 multimeter. Let's traditionally start from the probes. Oh yes, the cable of the probe is pretty nice. It's big. There is no cheap plastic using it. Let's see how the hand look like. The hand is nothing special, it's made of plastic. Oh, the, the designer don't think in this point. The wire should be attached to this hand because in the future the wire could break inside the hand. But there's a some interesting thing. The metal pin, you just hold it and you unscrewed it from the hand so you can resolder this wire when it's broke in this point it's i think it's a nice idea they think how to repair it and the metal pin i think is pretty sharp there will be no problem with it let's see what is on the other side of this probe the connector is also covered by rubber now it's nice and flexible, there will be no problem with broken. Always broke here the the wire, but there will be no problem in this this kind of connector. It's also covered by rubber, the pin, for the safety I think. I think that's yes, a big plus for the probes. Let's see how it look like the multimeter. Let's start from explaining what it can measure. It can measure a resistance. The maximal value will be 200 mega ohms on the rotor switch. The minimum value will be 200 mega, 200 ohms. You can measure a direct and the alternative current. The minimal range will be 220 micro amperes. The maximal value will be 20 ampere. 20 ampere. 20 ampere transistor in different circuit power and pn transistor and different for the pnp there's a buzz buzzer here uh, you can measure a diode the test diode is also available here you can measure a logic state high or low or you can measure also a capacitor the minimum the minimum range will be 2 nanofarads and the maximum range will be 200 microfarads you put uh, put a capacitor here it's very important when you measure capacitor, it it, could, it should be uncharged. It must be uncharged because if you if you charge charge the capacitor uh, before you measure it, it could break the multimeter. Uh, this multimeter is equipped with frequency counter, so you can measure a frequency. The maximum value will a uh, frequency you can measure. Uh, it's about 10 megahertz. Uh, you can also also uh, alternative a uh, direct voltage. The minimum range will be 200 millivolts, and the maximum range for the direct voltage will be 1000 volt, and for alternative voltage will be 750 voltage, 50 volts. Uh, what else? Uh, is the few switch here? A data hold, uh, peak hold, and also. A switch for if you want to measure uh, alternative current and capacity of the capacitor. There is also an auto power switch. There is a few four input socket, the common and the socket for voltage, resistance, and frequency. Uh, another socket for um, current if you want to measure a current. The maximum current you can measure using the socket will be 200 milliamperes, and another another socket for current higher than 200 milliampere. The maximum value we can measure using this this uh, multimeter will be 20 amperes. Uh, of course, it's unfused. Let's look how the multimeter look outside. I like this rubber cover. It's protect the multimeter. There's a stand here so you can put on the desk. There's no problem. 
let's look how the LCD look how the digit is pretty sharp the contrast is good there's no backlight it's a minus of this multimeter but the digits are very nice it's about three centimeter high every digit there's no problem with contrast or angle if you look at it from high angle its visibility is good there's no problem with rotary switch it's precise it shouldn't broke in the future when it will be old so oh the multimeter had its own stand will no problem so let's see what's under the cover some cheap battery here but I'm disappointed there is no fuse here so if you would like to change the fuse you must take apart all multimeter so let's do it the multimeter inside look like this the input uh, connector are directly soldered to this main PCB I'm not sure it's a good idea because after the while when you put in and put out the probes it can break the lead in this in this area this R4 let's see what's on the other side of this this PCB on the other side the PCB looks like this there's only one fuse there's no more fuses in the input circuit oh this something unbelievable who designed this PCB look this is place here the footprint it's made for the SMD resistor and here we have a 0 0.25 watts normal resistor they just solder to this to this point it's I think it's unbelievable crap and here we are the same situation and here also and here the same situation here so I think when you have more money you should buy a better multimeter than Maxcom's MX620. Thank you.